What's going on, everybody? So today we're up and at them pretty early. So I'm going to be checking out the Woodbridge Toy Show. Now, this is a toy show we've checked out in the past here on the channel, and we found some pretty big grails at some of these events. Some of these local Comic Cons and local toy shows is where you can find some of the coolest toys and collectibles. So I have no idea what we're going to find today, but hopefully you guys will join me on today's adventure and we'll see what we find. Here we go. All right, guys, here we go. We're going to check out the first booth coming over here. We've got some Disney villains pops. Cruella de Vil, DeVille, excuse me, the evil queen. Here's that super cute queen of hearts with the little tiny king pop. Over here, we have some of the G.I. Joe. Here's some of the, um, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, up here, we have a couple Pearl Jam 5 packs. Let's see what else we have. Kong with Battle Axe is pretty awesome. Oh, right here we have some Jackie Robinsons. Doesn't look like we have the chase though. Here is Kate Bishop, the regular version with the pizza dog. Luke Skywalker with Grogu. Here's the newer Rocky Balboa and Apollo Creed, which is pretty awesome. And down here we have some Star Wars pops with Boba Fett from the Book of Boba Fett, Darth Vader, Bo-Katan. Oh, this one's pretty cool as well. The specialty series Spartan Mark Warrior here. That's pretty awesome. So coming over here to this other booth, it looks like we have a lot of anime pops. We have the second form cell from New York Comic Con last year. We even have some autograph pops back here, which is pretty cool. Some pretty unique and interesting autographs with the also second cell, second form cell from New York Comic Con. Here's a Ultra Instinct Goku. Um, a blue chrome Super Saiyan Vegeta. This is from New York Comic Con 2018. But this is a, a pretty awesome booth. Look at this. A lot of great pops right here. Here's some pops from Hunter Hunter. Oh, we even have a chase. This is a glow chase of Edward El Elric from Full Metal Alchemist. Here's some more autograph pops with Tanjiro, Asuna, Faye is autographed, and then we have the flock chase in Osuke. And here it is, of course, AIC Collectibles. I actually just talked to the owner. He was super nice. You can find them, of course, on Whatnot as well. Here's the, uh, the SDCC exclusive Yuji Itadori. Probably said that wrong, so forgive me. Right here we have a signed Bugs Bunny. This is actually the seven bucks a pop exclusive. Only 70 pieces on that, which is pretty awesome. Uh, we also have some My Hero Academia. Here's Katsuki Bakugo from San Diego Comic-Con 2020. Oh, here's a pretty cool one. This is the 2018 Emerald City Comic-Con, limited to only 4,000 pieces. Scott Pilgrim 2-pack with Ramona Flowers and Gideon Graves. Look at that. Very rare two pack, which is always pretty cool to see. Oh, no way! He's got the Toys R Us exclusive narwhal, the original narwhal. Look at that, that's pretty awesome. He's also got Buddy and the Elf, which is pretty cool. A couple Sailor Moon Pops that I missed. Here's Sailor Mercury. There's Ramona Flowers. There's Scott Pilgrim. Another OG Toys R Us exclusive. I love this one. This is Robin Sparkles from How I Met Your Mother. 2020 New York Comic Con exclusive. That one has some pretty good value. Here is the NYCC Killer Frost. Here is the Hot Top exclusive Martha Wayne Joker. Here's Elron from Lord of the Rings, couple Pokemon Pops, Teal Chrome Batman, GameStop exclusive Harley Quinn. This one's a cool one. This one is like, doesn't have that much value, but it's a really, really cool pop. New York, uh, New York Comic Con 2016, the Rainbow Batman, really cool. Also have a really unique sticker right here. This is the 40th anniversary of something um, for the PX previews Harley Quinn, which is pretty interesting. Oh, here's a couple cool ones. So we have a Chase Gamer Deadpool. Um, the Deadpool coming out of the cake, which was a 7-Eleven exclusive. And then we have this one, which is like ridiculously hard to find right now. This is the New York Comic Con exclusive Spider Woman. And then we have Red Hood, which unfortunately the value took a dip when the new one came out. But that one is still the best one in my opinion. We also have the PX Previews exclusive Daredevil. The Blacklight Spider-Man, which has been going up in value once again. So if you guys need that one, don't sleep on it. 
Right here, we also have the White Lantern Batman. That is one of my favorite DC lines that Funko has ever come out with. We also have the Glow in the Dark Entertainment Earth exclusive Silhouette Batman. A couple Harry Potter pops, Lord Voldemort. Oh, this one's pretty new. This is the Gabriel Fluffy Iglesias with the Jack in the Box t-shirt. He's got the taco, of course. Really awesome pop. I, I like that one a lot. We got a couple Spider-Man pops right here as well. This is the metallic friendly neighborhood Spider-Man as well as the brand new Target Con exclusive Spider-Man t-shirt bundle. So, oh, right here we have some Care Bear pops. We got the Flocked Chase Wish Bear. Uh, we also have this really creepy glow in the dark Leprechaun right here. A signed bell. Hot Topic Expo Jack Skellington. The original Jack Sparrow that spiked like crazy in value for a little while there. We also have the glow in the dark. Shared exclusive Tamatoa, the Emerald City Comic Con Maui. Oh, this one's pretty cute. This flocked Winnie the Pooh. So pretty awesome. Then down there, I believe that's the 3,000 piece Emerald City Comic Con exclusive Ogre from Adventures of the Gummy Bear. So a lot of great stuff. And we're gonna keep going to the next booth. So now we're coming up to the next booth and I've spotted a couple big pieces right here. Guys, check this out. We have the very rare, very hard to find Chase Metallic Joker. Look how awesome that thing is in the original green DC Universe box. It's actually right next to a Glow Chase Freddy Krueger. We have a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Golden Frieza next to a New York Comic-Con exclusive Cayuga Otisuzuki. <laughs> I'm so sorry mispronounced that one we also have another blacklight spider-man starting to see more of those pop up and there we go we got the hooded walgreens exclusive obi-wan kenobi from episode two absolutely love that one here we have a pop culture jim halpert from the office that's a three hole punch version next to a blacklight funko shop exclusive hulk there's a glow chase kid boo next to a glow chase tanjiro and then a Glow Chase Killua next to a really unique looking Super Saiyan Goku with that Go Toys and Games exclusive sticker. I don't think I've ever seen that one. So coming on down here really quick, we've got some of the McDonald's pops, we've got the Book of Boba Fett common right there next to Luke Skywalker with the Grogu. I do see a Chase right here, the Scorpion Chase. There is Martian Manhunter, the Walmart exclusive, next to Clayface from the Batman animated series. We also have one of the newer Batman from the Funko Shop. This one's really cool, really underrated pop in my opinion. I love that mold. The Entertainment Earth exclusive Poison Spider-Man. Oh, look at this. We got the newer Nightwing with the actual con sticker. It's pretty tough to find. Let's see. Oh, there's the pop that we don't talk about from Encanto. Next to a couple blacklight ones from the Disney line, we have Captain Hook and Jack Skellington. Over here, we have some pops from the Nightmare Before Christmas train set. Let's see, Flocked Hawks, Glow in the Dark, Entertainment Earth exclusive Mandalorian. There's Nick Fury fading away. There's that newer Loki from Entertainment Earth. Oh, there's Madam Web. I need to pick that one up at some point because she's got a movie coming out and I want to be prepared for that. Um, let's see, we got a couple of Rugrats pops. Dexter from Dexter's Laboratory, newer Moon Knights, a 10 inch Notorious B.I.G. On top of that, we have the Stitch and Rocket Ride, Ecto-1 with Trevor from the newer Ghostbusters Afterlife movie. A couple pops here from um, Up with the Carl and Ellie painting the mailbox, as well as Carl and Ellie getting married. And then check out this one. We got the Glow Chase Legendary Super Saiyan Broly, six inch pop. That's pretty cool. And those are pretty hard to find in good condition. We also have the 18 inch Batman here. And if you guys are wondering whose booth this is, it looks like it is Toy Venture. So you can check them out. So lots of cool stuff. All right, so for the next part of the video here, I am gonna have to do a voiceover because there was some really loud music in this part of the show. Right here we have the Brian Mariotti signed Flocked and Diamond Huckleberry Hound. We also had an OG Black Widow from Captain America the Winter Soldier, as well as an OG Red Hulk, which I think will be going up in value. Another Blacklight Spider-Man, as well as a pair of Frost Giant Lokis. We also had the OG Iron Patriot. The Loki from Thor Ragnarok, Iron Patriot again, as well as the Venom 
t-shirt bundle. Coming on down here, we had a San Diego Comic-Con Red She-Hulk, as well as Jeffrey as Iron Man. Super cool. Um, add icon pop right there. Here is the newer box lunch green goblin OG mass vigilante daredevil Really cool Freddy as well as the fright night Freddy. This one here is limited to only 1600 pieces We also had some other Freddy's here with the 2000 piece robot Freddy Freddy as Han Solo as well as Freddy as the Mandalorian Which has been going up quite a bit in value recently. There was also the Red Sun Superman. That was a Midtown Comics exclusive down here we had some Back to the Future pops, as well as the first ever Batman pop and very OG first ever Robin pop. And there's the Fright Night Freddy I was talking about. Down here we had a Con Sticker Nightwing, OG Batgirl, Freddy Funko is H&R Puffin stuff. There was also a Chase Selena Kyle right there, Blacklight Carnage, Ken Griffey Jr., as well as Thor from Avengers Infinity War, a signed Lino, Sheldon Cooper wearing the Flash shirt, super cool pop right there. Let's see, we also had a Glow in the Dark Electro Hot Topic exclusive. Everybody was going after that one for a while. And check out this beauty 480 piece Mickey Mouse from, what was that 2011 D23? Super crazy. There was also a Ghost Face right there, Oswald the Rabbit, 1008 piece, Emerald City Comic Con, The Creeper. OG Mayor right here, Pluto in the train car, Duck Dodgers limited to only 750 pieces. There was another Tamatoa. And then moving over here, we do have some anime pops as well as the 3000 piece Glitter Zero, 3000 piece Diamond Buzz Lightyear, Diamond Chase Blue Eeyore. There's a glow in the dark Bigfoot up there. Let's see, what else did we have? Now we're moving into the anime section here. A couple chases, a couple flocked pops. The Glow Chase Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta. Let's see, there was also an Enmu from San Diego Comic Con, as well as a Glow Chase Kakashi. There is a Glow Chase Azula. Forgive me if I'm mispronouncing any of these names. There's a Chase Ochako, and then a bunch of autograph pops, including a John Diggle from the Arrow TV show, a signed Fluffy. Another signed Fluffy, a signed Sunny the Cuckoo, which is pretty cool, as well as a signed Cow Chocula. And to finish off the table, we had a Luffy with Thousand Sunny ride that I know a lot of people are still trying to get. This was a beautiful booth. Now moving into the next booth, we had a bunch of two-packs right here, some from Captain America Civil War, a bunch of WWE Pops, including this beautiful Rock Grail. I'm actually going to pick it up here and show you guys how old it is. Coming in from 2015, absolute beautiful pop right there. Moving to the top shelf, we have some Marvel Heat with the LA Comic Con Moon Knight, as well as the Hot Topic Thor, Matt Murdock, Glow Chase Venomized Doctor Doom. There's a Kratos right there, as well as Master Chief in the active camo, and even another OG Jack Sparrow, as well as a New York Comic Con exclusive Cookie Monster. There's yet another Blacklight Spider-Man. I don't know how many Blacklight Spider-Mans I saw at all these booths, but I guess everybody got the memo to bring one to the, to the toy show today. There's also a Zurana Batman from Target. Moving on down to showcase the table, there's a bunch of Batman pops, as well as an OG Batgirl, Hot Topic exclusive Black Hand. One of my personal favorites, the unmasked Bruce Wayne here from San Diego Comic Con 2017. Bunch of Spider-Man pops, there's the Pi Day Spider-Man, Upside Down Spider-Man from Homecoming. We also had some Disney pops, like the OG Elastigirl right there. Really cool Star Wars ones, like the Rebels ones we just passed over. There is the Force Ghost 3-pack up there. Moving over here, some more Star Wars stuff, some more Marvel stuff. There's an OG Nightwing, the Leaping Venom, which was a Marvel Collector Core exclusive, OG Thor, the Secret Wars version, which has been going down a lot in value. There's also the Funko Shop exclusive Iron Patriot, OG Flash, as well as OG Reverse Flash, Glow in the Dark Luke Skywalker, the Entertainment Earth exclusive, Hot Topic exclusive Predator, and then a couple OG Looney Tunes pops. A lot of beautiful pops at this booth, including that Chase right there. A lot of cool stuff. Walgreens exclusive Octo Spidey, the Batman vs. Superman Toys R Us exclusive, and then to round it out, we had the New York Comic Con 2018 official con sticker Chrome Batman. So guys, I actually have another room that we're gonna come in full of pops. 
Here we go, we got some more of the newer Stranger Things pops. We have Eleven and Mike. Up here we have some Star Wars ones. Here's the Ewok on the speeder, Funko Shop exclusive. Got a nice Droids two pack with that pretty rare Best Buy exclusive sticker. There's the Remnant Stormtrooper, Luke Skywalker from Endor. Over here we have Chrysanthemum, that's the non-con version with his bigger weapon. Uh, let's see, here's Rafiki with Simba. Down here we have some of the new Avatar Pops. Here is the Diamond Hot Topic, Cruella de Vil, Mad Hatter, Army Man. Down there is Robert Pattinson's Batman. Fox and Socks, which is pretty cute. Along with Cat in the Hat, the box launch exclusive. Colonel Mustard, Flocked Slush Puppy. Coming over here we have some Attack on Titan. The Young Bucks 2-pack. Oh, this is beautiful. Right here we have the Day of the Dead Mickey Mouse lounge fly bag. That's awesome. Oh, check this out right here. We have the PX Previews exclusive Rocket Raccoon. This is limited to only 25,000 pieces. And this is actually the same uniform they're going to be wearing in the brand new Guardians of the Galaxy movie, which is pretty awesome. Here's some Naruto Pops, Dragon Ball Z. Over here we have some Blacklight Nightmare Before Christmas. Up here we have some Swartz Pops. There's a Hulkbuster up here from Avengers Infinity War. Oh, right here we have Cad Bane from last year's, or two years ago now, New York Comic Con. Here's another cool one with Jack and Vampire Teddy. What's going on, everybody? Here's R2-B1. The Mandalorian with the flamethrower. Right here we have Hulk from Thor Ragnarok. Let's see, a couple more Marvel ones. Oh, right here, Corrupt Venom, LA Comic Con exclusive. That's pretty awesome. That's a nice one for sure. I love that Dapper Jack Skellington, which is Diamonds. Doppelganger Spider-Man. Oh, here's one of the brand new vaulted Batman cases, limited to 25,000 pieces. That's actually pretty cool. First time seeing that in person for myself. Here's the Chase, Imperial Palace Robin, a couple more Blacklight Pops. Oh, look at this one. This is like one of the most underrated series that Funko has ever made. This is the 1966 Batman TV series. Here is Catwoman from 2013. Somehow only $29. That's amazing. I got the Surf's Up Joker, Surf's Up Batman, Chase Riddler. Right here we have Argyle. A couple more Blacklight Pops with the Blacklight Demogorgon, Dustin. A lot of great stuff. Oh, here's some Slurpees. These Pops always made me laugh. Here is the New York Comic Con exclusive Polaroid camo camera with the con sticker. That's pretty awesome. We couldn't even get the con sticker while we were at New York Comic Con, yet we found one here. Here's Negan from The Walking Dead. And then we even have a signed Michael Myers Blacklight Pop. You know, I've actually never seen a signed Blacklight Pop, so that's pretty unique. There is a Basketball Freddy, and then we have a couple packs of Pokemon cards. So coming over here, I actually spotted a few Freddies. We have Freddy as Freddy Mercury, which is kind of like Inception. We have Skiing Freddy, Freddy Spirit, Birthday Freddy, another Freddy Spirit, and the Yuletide Freddy. We have the Funko Shop exclusive Stan Lee. Oh man, this is another really rare one. This is the Stan Lee with Excelsior shirt. There is the Stan Lee from Captain America, the first Avenger, a signed Thanos, another Stan Lee, and then the Glow Newer Moon Knight. Look at the comic book covers lined up. That's freaking awesome. You have Miles Morales, the brand new Spider-Man from TargetCon, as well as the Glow in the Dark Venom. A lot of great exclusives back there. Love that Star-Lord from the Gardens of the Galaxy Christmas special. I'm gonna come over here. Got a Halo pop. Oh man, perfect timing. Look at these action figures. We got Darth Maul, little Duel of the Fates action here with a young Obi-Wan Kenobi and Qui-Gon Jinn. That's awesome. Oh man, we got some Cos babies. Boba Fett, Bo-Katan, and Ahsoka Tano. These are so cute. Always wanted to get into these, but... And then there's a lot of great Star Wars pops back here. We have Paz Vizsla, the Heavy Infantry Mandalorian. There's that Sabine Wren. A lot of great stuff back there. Look at all this great Star Wars stuff. Oh, here's the brand new Darth Maul and Gar Saxon 2 pack. Love this little Razor Crest Microfighter set. 
Uh, let me see, we have another Covert Mandalorian. I think that this pop's actually gonna be going up in value because we're probably gonna be seeing that specific Mandalorian in the new season. Here's the NYCC exclusive Groot. A lot of great stuff. We're gonna check out the table here. Got the brand new Riddler with that newer international sticker on there. That's pretty awesome. There's the gold Statue of Liberty from Spider-Man No Way Home. We have the Target Con Michael Jordan, the Flocked Socks, which is super cute from the new Lightyear movie. Well, I guess it's not new anymore. Here is the Diamond exclusive Mr. DNA, Diamond Gingerbread Batman, which I don't think they could have put any more diamonds on there. Um, here's My Pet Monster, Scented Slushy. Uh, let me see. Oh, here's a Chase Yes. A couple more sodas here with Willy Wonka and Klondike Cat. Oh, here's the 3,000 piece diamond Buzz Lightyear. This one came out recently with the Lounge Fly bag. There's the Funko Shop exclusive Dumbo, which I believe has a little bit of value, next to the glitter alien from Box Lunch, as well as that new facade. Minnie Mouse? That's that's pretty cool, actually. If my first time seeing that in person. That's pretty awesome. Oh, here is Miguel, the one of the coolest pops that came out last year, the Glow in the Dark Box Launch exclusive Miguel. Oh, that's awesome. Coming over here, we have another fantastic looking booth. Guys, look at all this great stuff. I'm gonna do my best to do a, a quick comb over here. We do have a, some big grails up front with the foot soldier, Mr. Freeze. That seems very low for Mr. Freeze, as well as the Walgreens exclusive Moon Knight. There's the Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man, Diamond Charmander, look at that. New York Comic Con exclusive Glow in the Dark Killer Frost from the Flash series. There is, oh this is a perfect lineup right here. We have a Flocked Classic Sonic, a Flocked Tails, and a Flocked Knuckles. All in one spot, that's an awesome lineup. There's a Chase King Bradley from Full Metal Alchemist. Cal Kestis down here, don't sleep on that pop. We have a Freddy Funko with Snake Eyes. There's a man bat right there from SDCC 2017. Coming up here, we have a NYCC Carnage next to the OG Venom. That seems very low for that one as well. This one's a steal right here. The glow in the dark black suit Spider-Man. We're gonna be seeing him at Avengers Secret Wars wearing that specific suit. That's a great deal. And check this out, we have a Anakin Skywalker going to the dark side, Walgreens exclusive. I absolutely love that one. Man, there is another Blacklight Spider-Man. I feel like I've seen like 10 of him today. There's also a Glow Chase Hades. We have a Zombie Magneto. There's a Red Goblin up there. Over here we have Mace Windu. I might need to pick that one up for our Star Wars auction. There is a The Inquisitor from the Rebel set. Check this out, we have another White Lantern one. This is the Kyle Rayner. Down here we even have a Seventh Sister. There is a Dengar, a couple more black light pops from the DC line, Mr. Monopoly. Coming up here, we have a con sticker Danny Phantom from New York Comic Con 2020. So a lot of great stuff here at this booth. I think I'm gonna grab that Mace Windu at the very least, but we're gonna see what else I can grab. All right guys, so we are just leaving the toy show. I got a lot of goodies here and um, I was just truly overwhelmed. There were so many nice people in there. I was recognized by a good deal amount of vendors and, and collectors who were there, which was truly awesome. So I um, had a great time at the toy show today here in Woodbridge. And um, when we get back into the studio, I'll show you everything that we picked up. All right guys, so here we are back in the studio and I did end up picking up a few things from the toy show which you guys saw, so we're gonna break them down and uh, show off what I picked up. First off, I just wanna give a huge shout out to everybody that came up to me at the toy show. It was so great getting to meet some patrons and putting faces to names, which is always fantastic. And there were also a lot of vendors there that were extremely kind to me, which I truly appreciate. So the first thing that we're gonna show off here is all the pops inside of this bag. So you guys know I am a huge Star Wars fan and I just saw some pops that I think would be great for our upcoming May the 4th Star Wars auction. You guys definitely wanna make sure you are at that auction because we are gonna have some big grails dropping in the buy it now section for only $15. So I picked up some more fire for that auction, including 
The Star Wars Celebration Hooded Darth Maul. I absolutely love this pop. It has gone down in value recently over the past couple years. And um, I just think it's a fantastic one. So at 45 bucks, as you guys can see by the price tag in the upper um, right hand corner, I just, I couldn't pass it up. Such a cool pop. The next one I grabbed, also a fantastic one that has gone down in value a little bit. However, I think there's a very strong possibility we're going to be seeing this character again at some point is Mace Windu. And this is the only Mace Windu that Funko has ever made a great Walgreens exclusive pop. And um, once again, just couldn't pass it up. The next one we have here, once again, another great character. The original version of this pop at one point was a grail, but when this version came out, everybody pretty much ditched that pop, you know, in addition to some restocks and overseas re-releases. And they were super excited and had to grab this one, including myself. This is the updated General Grievous from Hot Topic with not two, but four lightsabers. So this is a fantastic pop right here. Absolutely love this one. So great. And uh, yeah, so those were the three Star Wars pops that I picked up, but I also picked up a pop ride that I have been desperately trying to get my hands on. And here we have the only mystery machine that Funko has made in Funko Pop form so far. I wish they would have made a version of him or of the mystery machine with Fred or Scooby-Doo driving, but this is the crossover with the Looney Tunes line from the 100th anniversary of Warner Brothers. Awesome pop ride. I can't believe it's taken us till 2023 to get the mystery machine in our collection, but that's just how it goes sometimes with Funko. So those were my pickups from the toy show. Once again, it was a fantastic outing and I'm very grateful to all of the people that I was able to meet and interact with at the show. Now guys, of course, because today is Monday, it is time for our weekly Monday motivation segment. Every single week, we like to bring you guys a little piece of motivation to help kickstart your week and of course, get you through the toughest day of the week, which is Monday. And for today's Monday motivation, it is look local. With this toy show, it is a perfect example of some great Funko and collecting related events that could be taking place in your own hometown or very close to where you live. Obviously, everybody wants to go to the big cons like San Diego Comic Con and New York Comic Con because we're all excited for those big releases at that time during the year. However, I find a lot of enjoyment and get actually a lot more um, you know, positivity and sense of community with these smaller events, especially ones that are essentially centered around Funko. There's a lot of great vendors. Um, you can support some local sellers and maybe some mom and pop shops, that kind of thing, local comic book stores. That is always great. Plus, you can get a great deal on some stuff that you're looking for for your collection and, of course, interact with other members in the community. And you may find people locally that you didn't even know collected Funko Pop which is a great bonus so definitely look local we all want to fly to the big cons and go have that big comic-con experience but i'll be the first one to tell you there are parts of going to those big events that are a little bit overrated they're very expensive and it can be very stressful being around a lot of people and with these smaller events there's obviously not as many people which is always a huge plus also guys we are back live on the whatnot app tonight at 7 p.m eastern we are going to be doing another big giveaway so tonight Tonight we are going to be giving away a Moon Knight Chase Soda. So I was lucky enough to now own two of these. So we are going to be giving away this super cool glow in the dark Moon Knight Chase. I actually pulled it on our Soda Community live stream this, that we had this past Friday night with all of our patrons and channel members. It was a blast and um, I was very fortunate enough to pull this. So everybody who makes a purchase tonight, you will be entered into the drawing here for the Moon Knight Chase Soda. 7 p.m. Eastern, you guys can go bookmark that show, and uh, we are very grateful for all the support that we've gotten over there on the WhatNot app. If you guys are new and haven't downloaded the app before, we do have a link in the description below, which can give you a $15 credit off your very first purchase. So definitely take advantage of that while they still have that promotion running. So. With that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to smash that like button on your way out. And as always, don't stop shooting until you score.